In this example, we're going to solve the following equation for x. The equation that we are given is x times the natural log of x minus 2 is equal to 0. So for this equation, we notice that all of our x's are already on the left-hand side, um, equal to 0, and the left-hand side is already factored. And so what we do is we set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So we've got the first factor is x, so x is equal to 0, and there's no solving there. And then the next factor is natural log of x minus 2 is equal to 0. So the way I usually um, think about solving uh, natural log equations is changing it into an exponential. So what I'm really asking myself is e to the 0 is equal to x minus 2. So uh, e to the 0 is 1. So we have 1 is equal to x minus 2. Add 2 to both sides and we have x is equal to 3. So um, we're done, right? Both of these answers are good. Well, we got to be careful. Um, look back at the original equation. We have the natural log function. And the thing that we know about the natural log function in general here, natural log of x looks like this. Okay. So in particular, um, for this particular function, y equals natural log of x, we have the understanding that x must be in uh, the domain 0 to infinity. So you can't take the natural log of 0, you can't take the natural log of anything that's negative. So certainly when we go back and we put in x is equal to 3, we don't run into any trouble because we would have a natural log of 3 minus 2, which would be natural log of 1. Natural log of 1 is 0, just like we solved. Um, but the problem here comes in um, the x is equal to 0. If we were to put x equals to 0 back into the this equation, this function, we would have the natural log of 0 minus 2. So that would be the natural log of negative 2, and that's not allowed. And so rather than boxing uh, this x equals 0, I should cross it out, because while uh, solving um, our equation resulted in giving us that um, solution, and I, I say that kind of in quotes because it's not a solution, it's an extraneous solution. We solved, we got x equal to, to 0, and then we checked to see that that wasn't actually in the domain of the function that we had equal to 0, and so we throw it out. The only solution to this equation is x is equal to 3.